Returning to Aix-les-Bains, le marché aux poissons will truly come back to life. Due to the fact that Pixaro created only 24 monotypes in his career, le marché aux poissons is considered a unique work by the impressionist master. In November of 1981, a man ran out of the Four Museum uh, in Aix-les-Bains in France, and Madame Jacqueline Rivolet, who was the museum employee on duty that day, saw two frames protruding from the gentleman's coat as he fled. Uh, a chase ensued, uh, but the thief escaped, reducing the museum's collection by exactly one Pissarro and one Renoir. Today, we return the Pissarro, right there, a lovely monotype of a fish market. This particular monotype first made, it way, uh, made its way to the United States in 1985, and then it surfaced for public sale at Sotheby's in 2003. Thanks to the sharp eyes uh, at the art loss register, our friends at Interpol notified uh, ICE, and we in turn seized the monotype for forfeiture and return. Lengthy civil litigation ensued, ably handled by our friends at the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. And voila, here we are many years later returning the monotype at long last to the French. In the space of roughly a year, ICE has returned three important works to the French. Edgar Degas' Blanchisseuse uh, Souffrant des Dents, after it had been stolen from the Malraux Museum in Le Havre in 1973, Jules Breton's A Fisherman's Daughter Mending Nets, after it had been stolen uh, by the Army of the German Empire during World War I, and now uh, this Pissarro stolen from the Musée Fort. Returning a painting to a museum is indeed a significant contribution to the celebration of our cultural heritage and a gift to all future visitors but it is also another great illustration of Franco-American friendship and cooperation.